it was something that from the time I was his age, you know, I was just always around it. And I was, I was trying to ride everything there was around. My grandpa was actually killed before I was born on a bull. And so I'd never even been around him. My dad, he had quit riding by the time I was born. So I'd never, you know, they'd never taken me, you know, to watch him compete or anything like that. So it was just something that, that uh, when I would get the chance to see it on TV, you know, I was just amazed by it. And it was something that I really liked doing. And uh, I didn't know though that, you know, bull riding was what I was going to do. I liked roping. I liked just riding, whatever. I was just kind of a rough little kid that liked to do all of it. And I never felt, you know, like I was too small to do anything. Uh, and I had, I had a mom that lied to me about everything too. She always told me I could do everything. So, uh, you know, you lie to somebody long enough, they start believing it. And then we had wrestling. Wrestling was a really big thing there where we grew up in. And that was something I was glad I did because I felt like that helped uh, with the career that I ended up choosing in bull riding. It was a, it was a one-on-one -on -one sport. When you won, it was because you were prepared and you, you were better than the other guy. And when you lost, you couldn't blame it on nobody else. It, it was because you weren't prepared and this guy beat you. Uh, and, and that's the way bull riding was, you know, and, and the way it is, is that, you know, when, when you're successful, you have help along the way, but it's because for that eight seconds, you were ready to go and, and you, you did your job. And, and when you do get bucked off, you can't blame it on anybody else. I mean, there's guys that try to blame it on the bull or this happened or that happened in the shoot. And, but those are just excuses. It, it, it doesn't matter. It, it, it was your fault. The bull riding something I walked away from when I, I was 28. Maybe I turned 29 by then uh, when I quit. And, uh, my tank was still full when I left. I, I didn't leave because I was hurt or I was too old to do it anymore. Uh, when I left, I, I felt as good as I ever had, you know, and, and uh, I, I haven't been still going and getting banged up and stuff over the last five years. It's been five years <laughs> since I've been on a bull. That's, uh, that's a long time, you know, uh, but uh, I, I, feel, I feel like I can still, uh, I feel like I can still compete and I can ride you know any bull out there right now now that's one thing to say it uh but you know there's there's gonna be a time coming up here pretty quick where i'm gonna get on a bull for the first time in five years and then that's gonna that's gonna tell a lot you know you know i i try and i try and keep bull riding really simple and into the purest form of competition that's what i care about i, I let everybody else worry about the the accolades and who's the best and you know could this guy beat this guy in a heads to heads up match you know that's that's for that's for the guys which i do now the the talking heads of the sport uh you know it'll be fun to take that hat off and and put my real cowboy hat back on for an afternoon and and not just have to sit and critique other people it'll be fun to to get in the mix and and go try and beat them I mean, I was, I was kind of a little turd, I'm sure, growing up, but I was, I was really fortunate to have found something that, that I was that keyed in on. Uh, and, I, and I hope my kids are able to do that. I necessarily don't want it to be bull riding, but I hope, I hope they can find something in life that they really want to do. Because if you can, you never work, you know, and, and uh, I still haven't went to work a day in my life because of that. And when you start throwing out a million dollars for one day, then you go, I do not know any other way to make that kind of money other than with my bull rope. That's, that's how I know how to, it's, you know, it's George Foreman boxing when he was over 50 years old. You know, that's, that's how he knew how to make that kind of money. Uh, that's the only way I know how to do it other than buying a lottery ticket and my odds are way better at the American. The American is an event like there's never been before. There's, there's never been anything like this. Uh, and there's, there's gonna be some people there that are competing because that's what they do for their living. There's gonna be some people there because they're taking a shot 
and, and seeing if they can compete against these great guys. I'm doing it for the reckoning. I mean, it, this is an event. People will always remember who won the American. And, and I feel like I, I still can.